All right, y'all, make sure you subscribe to Chat Sports so you get in weekly NFL playoff pictures. We're dropping new videos on the channel literally every single day, every three hours. So to make sure you don't miss anything, I want you to go ahead and click that big red button that says subscribe because here at Chat Sports, we're keeping you updated. Let's now get into that current AFC playoff picture here at Chat Sports. Go ahead, hit that big red button, subscribe. You ready? Let's get into today's show. The Pittsburgh Steelers pick up a win over the Baltimore Ravens to go to 11-0. They are the number one seed there, Tom. And uh, it's going to be close what happens between them this and the is, Chiefs. This is where things currently stand following that loss by the Baltimore Ravens. The Chiefs are the number two seed, 10-1. and one. The Titans have actually jumped to the number three seed since they beat the Colts. And they have a head-to-head -head tiebreaker over the Buffalo Bills. The Browns are the five seed at eight and three. The Dolphins are the six seed with a tiebreaker over the Colts based on win percentage in conference games, six versus seven. And then the Raiders are over the Ravens, not that it matters too much at this point, at the eight nine, the first team on the outside looking in right now. We'll go in depth on all of these teams, by the way, Mitch, beginning with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, of course, they ended up beating the Baltimore Ravens, uh, that final score in that game was a, a fun one in the end. 19-14 to 14 was, was the final uh, matchup in, in that game. I, 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 the Steelers are not a true 11-0 team, Mitch, if we're being honest. However, all they have to do yep. is, is beat Washington, and they secure a playoff spot. Now, in reality, this win is a de facto playoff spot. Like Even if they lose out the rest of the way, the combination of other results that they would require to not clinch a playoff spot... Yeah is we're talking like less than 1%, Correct. like chance. So in reality, the Steelers have secured a playoff spot. But technically, they'll clinch it with a win over Washington this week. But if you're the Pittsburgh Steelers, you're obviously not just trying to get into the playoffs. You're trying to secure May that first Make round bye run, yeah. because now there are only one team that mm -hmm. gets that bye. And when you got the Kansas City Chiefs mm -hmm. nipping on their heels, hey, I'll tell you what. But it's good news here. The Pittsburgh Steelers, they stay undefeated. Picking up the win over the Baltimore Ravens again in this Week 12 matchup. Steelers 19, Ravens 14, Ravens 6 and 5. Steelers they go to 11 and 0. So predict when will the Steelers lose or will they lose at all? Go down yes, into the lose. you think? Yes, they will. This is not a undefeated at the end of the year team. They're yeah. a good team. Don't get me wrong. They're so, not going to go undefeated. So they got the Bills. They got the Browns. They have the Colts. I think they're they'll I, lose at least one of those. I'm with you, and I I think if the Steelers will be favored in all those games. Mm, maybe not at maybe not at Buffalo. You don't think? Maybe not at Buffalo. Okay, so when will the Steelers le lose? Go down in the comments section and let us know. All right, the Kansas City Chiefs here at number two at ten and one, and if I'm just being honest with y'all. I think this is the best team in the National Football League. They can clinch a playoff spot with a win versus Denver. Now, what they needed it before this Ravens-Steelers game was a win and a loss by either the Ravens or the Dolphins. Yep. And they got that loss against the Baltimore Ravens against the Pittsburgh Steelers, so that's how they secure a playoff spot. They can clinch the AFC West, by the way, with a win and a Raiders loss. As we'll get into... I don't think the Raiders lost is going to come, or loss is going to come. I mean, this week. we also said that last week against the Falcons, and they lost forty-three to six. So mm. just about anything is possible <laughs> in the National Football League. So whose is it? Honestly, who is the best team in the AFC? You know what, Tom? I think I'm going to make this the pinned comment on today's video. So every person that comes across this bad boy on YouTube, go down in the comment section and let us know. And you know what? Defend your answer. Be angry about it. Who's the best team in the AFC right now? Is it maybe the Tennessee Titans? I mean, Ryan Tannehill, King Henry, they were playing fun football, and they got their revenge game up against the Indianapolis Colts, 45-26. to I know the last time the Titans played the Colts, they blew a lead. That didn't happen this time. Critical, critical win here. No clinching scenarios yet for Tennessee. Now, I will make note, they have a head-to-head -head win over the Buffalo Bills, and that is why Tennessee is the current number three seed at eight and three, and why the Bills are the current number four seed. I will make note, Buffalo, though, winners of four of their last five games, that lone loss, the Kyler Murray to DeAndre Hopkins Hail Mary. Yeah. They're that close from being right there in the mix for, hey, maybe we can get the number one See, overall seed. My issue with Josh Allen is, though, when we come down to the stretch, it's, it's still way too up and He's down, young. and even if they get into the playoffs, 
I don't know if this, I have a lot of this confidence. This is supposed to be the prove it year for Josh sure. Allen. So it is reasonable you feel that way. Bills fans, I'm sure you guys feel confident, <laughs> and I get that. This is supposed to be the prove-it year for Josh Allen, and he's going to have an opportunity to do just that. Well, hey, best way to prepare for, I guess, playoff games, mm -hmm. primetime games, Monday night football game, Buffalo Bills on the road against the 49ers at uh, San Francisco. That's true. It's, 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 it's in Arizona. Glendale, Arizona, because yeah. the Niners can't play in Santa Clara County, but, so they went to Glendale where there are actually more cases. But Buffalo shouldn't take this game easily. I think the Rams no, did that course. last week. Yeah, I agree. And the 49ers were like, wait a minute. I know we got a lot of injuries, but we can still play some solid football. Mm -hmm. They picked up a win, and if Buffalo doesn't go into this one be ready to rock and roll, they could be in trouble. If you guys want to let us know who you got winning this game, type Buffalo or the 49ers. All right, Thomas, get into the wild card now, the five seed. The Cleveland Browns at Eight and three, the Browns. Has it been pretty, Mitch? No. No. A two point <laughs> win over the Jags, a five point win over the Eagles, a three point win over Houston, a 10 point loss to the Raiders, and a three point win over the Bengals. That's not pretty. But shoot, guys, they're eight and three. Yeah, like, tell me how many and, Cleveland Browns fans care. And I, and I don't think they're going to lose out the rest of the way. So I still think 10 might end up being the magic number. Titans, Ravens, Gi Giants, and Jets. Yeah. And the Steelers. If the Browns just take care of business against the two New York teams, that's 10-6. and six. That's going to get them in. See, the only issue, though, and I will bring this up, at 10-6, and six, let's say the Raiders, they win some games. Let's say the Ravens you will win a not, few games. You will not have eight teams with a 10-6 and six but mark as, or better. But all I'm saying is the Raiders do have that tiebreaker at 10-6. Mm -hmm. and six. And the Titans might take a tiebreaker, too. Correct. I think that might end up impacting... Uh, seeding. I don't think you're going to see eight teams get to ten wins in the when AFC. I originally that, did my, that would be a, a record-setting year. When I originally did my playoff projections, I had the Ravens winning ten games, but if they don't have Lamar Jackson, we just saw yeah. how bad that offense was, yeah. so I might change up my answer here. But this is going to be a game that everyone's watching, and we want to know who you got, the Cleveland Browns type B, or the Tennessee Titans Type T. Give me Tennessee. As, I'll say, as much fun as the Cleveland's Browns been. are looking like the team that beats the teams they're supposed to, yep. loses to the teams they're not supposed to. You're not supposed to beat Tennessee, and that gets in the playoffs almost every single year. If you like watching running backs play, like good running backs, Nick Chubb, Derrick Henry, two of the best game in the game right now, mm. I'm telling you, watch this game going on. All right, let's get into the sixth seed, the Miami Dolphins. Let's give Brian Flores and this team a round of applause. They think one of the most underrated teams, probably the most underrated defense in the league. They took care of business against the Jets and well, have outscored the Jets this year 43-3. to My concern forthcoming for Miami is a 7-4 mark again. You're trying to get to 10 wins. 10 yes, gets you the, in. Yep. 10 gets you in. 9 might leave you on the outside looking in. You got the Bengals. Okay, you should win that game. That's 8 wins. Can you secure 2 against the Chiefs, Patriots, Raiders, and Bills. You're going to have your opportunity. Yeah. Probably going to go back to two about by then. Ah, it's going to be tough for Miami to stretch. But Brian Flores has shown he can do it. Yep. So I'm excited to see. I think the game there is going to be week 16 at the mm -hmm. Raiders, Saturday night football mm -hmm. primetime. I think it's honestly going to come down to that. If the Raiders win, I think they get in. If not, I think it's going to be the Dolphins. So pick two. Oh, mm -hmm. boy, this is tough. This is Don. fun, baby. This is tough. So pick two. Who misses the playoffs? Titans, Colts, Bills, Dolphins, Browns. Ravens and Raiders. All right, Titans, in or no? Yes. All right, Colts, in or no? Yes. Bills, in or no? Yes. All right, that's what I kind of agree with there. That's why I put those three at the top. Dolphins, in or no? No. All right, Browns, in or no? I'm actually going to go yes. All right, Ravens, in or no? No. All right, so you got the Raiders in. That, that, that's where we're at in the AFC. This is going to come down to week 17. It is going to be wild. The seven seed, the Indianapolis Colts, who fell because they got whooped by the Tennessee Titans, 45-26, to and they play the Texans in Week 13, and they actually play them again in Week 15. We have to be looking ahead to the schedules. That's Correct. how we know what's going to happen for these teams in terms of their actual playoff outlook. The Colts, again, you're trying to get to 10 wins. You got Houston twice and the Jags once. That should now, be three that wins. Steelers game is going to be tough. That Raiders game is going to matter a lot for oh, yeah. both sides because if the Colts win that game against Las Vegas and they're coming off a win over Houston, that puts them at nine wins. That That's going to be a massive, massive matchup there. But I like where the Colts sit if they can get competent play out of their quarterback. The defense will bounce back. They, they were missing a lot of key players against Tennessee, and they can't stop Derrick Henry, but they'll be fine in the long run. Can't stop these deals coming in either, and they are <laughs> hot, hot, hot. Chatsports.com slash jersey sale. I'm just going to tell you right now, if you need a new Lamar Jackson mm -hmm. jersey, this one is only $59.99, but deal. that deal ends tonight. But you know what? Maybe you're not a Ravens fan. It's okay. I got you. We got NFL jerseys for all 32 teams, and there's hundreds, like 
hundreds and hundreds of hundreds mm -hmm. available at chatsports.com slash jersey sale. And look at this one. We also got a Raiders look Josh Jacobs jersey. Hopefully he's 100% healthy. But seriously, y'all, holidays right around the corner. There's nothing more that I would love to see underneath my Christmas tree. Well, maybe a supermodel. But also an NFL jersey, chatsports.com. You, you can. She's a model. Chatsports.com slash jersey sale. Speaking of Jacobs, let's look at the Raiders right now who – I just, uh, I don't know, Tom. As I, we I woke up, I woke I up know, on Monday, and I I'm know, like, it buddy. wasn't a bad dream. As it as we terrible. sit right now, they're the first team on the outside looking in. They win the tiebreaker over the Ravens for the eight spot. I'm not going to say seed there because sure. it's not going to be a seed. Based on best win percentage in conference games. Yep. Now, I think that they, that they got a get right game coming up against the Jets. <laughs> That'll be the seven wins. Can you close strong? Yeah. Colts, Chargers, Dolphins, Broncos, and there are massive tiebreaker implications yep. between the Colts and the Dolphins. Now, you might get into a scenario where there are three teams with nine wins, and that might help you out in terms of if you, if you lose a game and with tiebreakers not going directly to head-to-head -head at that point. But the schedule is not that daunting. Correct. But they got to play a hell of a lot better than I mean, they, they did they, against the Falcons. They, you better beat the team that hasn't won a single game, the Jets. The Colts mm. will be the tough one. I project the Colts to win that one. You already beat the Chargers. You already beat the Broncos. It's going to come down to Saturday Night Football. I'm mm. going to be live for that bad boy. Make sure you guys are watching. Let's go to the Baltimore Ravens, who just lost to the Pittsburgh Steelers 19-14. to And now they got to play the Cowboys on Tuesday. It literally comes Should down. Should be a win. It literally comes. It literally comes. Is if Lamar Jackson plays, mm -hmm. I think the Ravens win. If he doesn't, no. This, I mean, we this is one of the worst teams without we, Lamar Jackson. And look, there were a lot of key players missing yes. from the Ravens in this particular game. And when RG three pulled whatever he pulled, his play fell off. He couldn't run the ball anymore. Don't let the long touchdown fool you when thinking Trace McSorley is a competent quarterback. He's not. Somebody He's got slipped no and fell on the play. Oh, someone dove for it because the ball just floated out there for five <laughs> seconds, and they almost had a chance on it. The Ravens, in theory, should get right against the Cowboys. That puts them at seven wins. That Browns game, honestly, might not be a must-win game because then you got the Jags, the Giants, and Bengals. The Ravens should at least win four of those. Should. That gets you to the magic number 10. Now, we know that all the games we said teams should win, they're not all going to. Correct. Raiders, Falcons, you know, the, the, the Dolphins, Broncos. Like, you're not going to win all those games. There will be upsets. But all those teams we just mentioned, they still kind of control their own destiny. They remain in good shape. That's going to make it for a fun and wild AFC playoff picture race down the stretch.